What's up, guys? Merry Christmas. This is Crazy Black Man 108 here, back with another video. And today, I'll you know wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, you know, Happy Holidays, you know, whatever culture, or religion you are. And uh, I'm gonna show you this, the stuff I got in. What? What is this? Well, we're going to have to restart now, aren't we? Man, look at this. I guess before we restart, though, I mean, we'll show the camera. Sony HD Handycam. Okay. Well, let's get the new video going. Man, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at this. So, uh, <coughs> I got a cold. my cold still. Merry Christmas, everyone. You know, happy holidays, you know, whatever culture or religion that you come from. December 25th. Today I'll be showing you, you know, what I got for Christmas. And then, uh, like I said with the video yesterday, we'll see where we'll go from here. Also, some of the gifts I got for Christmas aren't here yet, apparently, so that'll be cool. So first thing I'm going to start by showing you by, I guess, is this old camera. I remember back when I first, I got this as a Christmas gift four years ago, I guess it's been now. Yeah, about, I think I was in sixth grade. Um, and it's been a good camera. It's been through some tough times. It, the touch screen on here died and I had to send you back in. I didn't have any videos for a long while, except for uploaded straight from my phone. <laughs> and then, you know, it still was working. Had a crack right there, it was kind of beat up, but oh well. Still worked, but now we got this nice HD, look at this, man, this is wonderful. Um, I guess I'll give you the actual name. This is a Sony Handycam HDR CX560V. Um, it has uh, this steady zoom feature here on it. This is a Sony Lens G 10X uh, optical zoom. It's a video camera and a uh, you can also take still photos. This one could do that too, but it just wasn't. <laughs> the still photos were horrible. This one, different. So, you know, got some different things to go through. Uh, first off, I guess I'll do this one. Got this a little bit early. Chicago Bulls mouse pad. I'll set this down over here. Back over here by my computer. Uh, pull some stuff closer over here so we can, so I can access it better. Here we go. I guess I'll do this big thing first. Uh, this is a uh, a Darth Vader. I believe it's like an alarm clock or something. <laughs> I'm thinking of one of my teachers at school would be busting out laughing at this. Uh, it's it seems it's like it's pretty cool. I mean, I use my iPod more, but I guess there's a jack right here that I can use. So it's cool. I like it, you know. And nothing else. Just go up there on top of my, you know, desk or something. I don't know if this tells you the CD tracks. I think, like on the lens, I think is where it gives you the the time and stuff. I should have combed my hair or something before this. Uh, well, I can fix that in a second. Got this Chicago Bulls warm up game day today. It is 9.42 where I'm at right now. The game starts at 5 o'clock, so just getting ready for that. Come back from Mass. Now I'll relax. Yeah, that looks nice, Chicago. Woo! Then these are gifts to myself that I bought yesterday. Two Chicago Bulls snapbacks. I guess I'll, uh, I'll wear this one for now. The video. Nope, I wore this one yesterday, so I'll, I'll put this one on. Yep, so got all that going. Had some uh, Christmas ornaments as gifts. Uh, Battlestar Galactica, Cylon Centurion, uh, Slave One from Star Wars. Let's see what else here we got. Uh, Showdown at the Cantina, Han and Greedo. You know, just nice Christmas ornaments. Uh, grab here a bunch of Star Wars figures. I do have most of these, but... Uh, it's still all good because, you know, the doubles, you know, reviews, hopefully, at some point in time. Revenge of the Jedi, uh, car back, Stormtrooper. 
Luke Skywalker. General Lando Calrissian. Princess Leia and the uh, slave outfit. And that was a Return of the Jedi car back. Revenge of the Jedi car back uh, TIE Fighter pilot. Revenge of the Jedi Han Solo. I have the return up there. And then Revenge of the Jedi Stormtrooper again. Then we have some Clone Wars. We got uh, Kit Fisto. We have the Arf Trooper. And then we have uh, Plo Koon. Then on my wrist already. Let me pull this off so you can see. Um, got these power balances. This is the NBA one. I don't know if they're the official ones, but you know, it feels like it. Like it is. This feels like it's made of thicker material for some reason to me. But who knows? I'll find out in a couple weeks, I guess. And then on my right, or my your right, my left. Uh, Chicago Bulls power balance. See if that was steady for us. Let's see if I can mess with this camera, get this. There we go. It's cool. Uh, and then also on my wrist, I'm not gonna take this off. I'll just show you. Got Chicago Bulls watch. So that's all good. Very cool. Put these back on. See here. Then I got some Blu rays here, all of which are Harry Potter. These are apparently, I guess, going back in the. Uh, let's see, I have to re focus. Let's see if I just press that. Okay, cool. So I can just press that. Uh, I have years two, three, five, and six of the Ultimate Editions. Year one is on its way. Year four. Uh, grab it. That's wonderful. Year four. It's right here. Just fell out. Uh, but whatever. And then, uh, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2. Um, Chicago Bull. No, not Chicago Bulls, but Chicago Cubs hat. And then the items that are coming, let me grab this right here. Oh, my sister also got these. I got this like this Jedi Force snow speeder and uh, ATST, I believe. But on its way is the uh, Lord of the Ring, uh, Lord of the Rings Extended Edition Blu-ray uh, trilogy. Amazon.com price of fifty bucks. And um, I believe that's it. So I'll, I'll open these up and I can show you. How you know what's inside each of these. Now Best Buy, actually I went uh yesterday morning, I bought my dad uh Pacific, the Pacific, Generation Kill, uh uh what else? And uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. All of those had higher prices at Best Buy than Amazon.com and they don't price match, but for some reason when they rang up they were all the Amazon prices. Like this was nine bucks, which was good. I was happy, you know, to save, you know, some money. Let's see, Definitely Howls Part 1. This is the movie, special features, and then this is the DVD. So I got my digital copy in here. Let's open up uh, Definitely Howls Part 2. I'm kind of, you know, happy that I get all these movies over, you know, this nice long vacation I have because there's, like, no homework whatsoever. So all I, I can just, you know, kick back and relax and do whatever I want. Let's see here. It doesn't tell me how long I've been recording for. That's the only thing I don't know yet. Or I don't know how to display yet, maybe. But I can guess it's been about seven minutes, I guess. Oh, uh, there we go. You all could leave right now if you wanted to. There's nothing else here unless you want to see what the inside of these uh, Blu-ray cases hold. So unless you really care for that, you can leave early from the video. Okay, so Definitely House Part 2, the movie, special features, DVD. Uh, the digital copy is that uh, ultraviolet digital copy. So I don't know if it will work with the iTunes or not. So you have that. 
this was this isn't the uh, Target exclusive that was like that Harry Pod, like the Hogwarts, I think. It's like right, the only uh, know some people don't won't like about the disc, I guess, is that these are nice and smooth. Those aren't. I mean, yeah, the Deathly Hallows ones weren't. Oh, so my dad taped these together. Let's see here. It's got still got the plastic on it though, so it's all good. If I can get the plastic, if I can get this the tape off. That's wonderful. Oh, okay. Oh, huh. Taped on this side too. And on the top. Really difficult. This is fun. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't like dropping my stuff and messing it up. Here we go. Uh, let's open up year two. I believe years one and two were the only ones to have the extended edition of the Potter films. I really just want to like get a pen or something just to get the plastic open. Uh, I believe from there from there on there weren't any more extended editions of the films. Some people believe that when Deathly Hallows comes out on the uh, in the Ultimate Edition format, that it will just be part one and two in the one uh, movie, which would be you know pretty cool. So, it's the Chamber of Secrets. And it's set up, you got, uh, let's see here. All your disc and stuff, you know, three disc set. Uh, there's no DVD copy in here. Well, actually, no, I lied. There is a DVD copy, and I believe it should be in here as a digital copy. Let's see. Got these two cards. Thought there was gonna be a digital copy in here or something. At least I thought there's supposed to be. <coughs> but uh, who knows? Let's see. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a digital copy in here. Interesting. I thought each of these was supposed to come with that. Oh well. Uh. Here. Let's see here, I guess this is that's not magnetically sealed. I don't, dude was saying that uh, I was watching a video for it online, saying that those were these they uh, were magnetized the covers on there. Oh well, let's see here. Maybe I should have done this before I started the video. Would make things quicker for him when it's still around. So actually, I'll try to just move a little bit quicker myself. Let's see here. Okay, so we got year three, Prisoner of Azkaban. Open it up. Get the three disc in here. Two Blu ray. This, there's the one special features DVD in here. No digital copy again. This are two cards. Interesting. <laughs> I really thought there were digital copies in here. And then you have your uh, book here. Uh, and uh, here, year four was like you know it was the same way. Up here. Now I gotta take apart the tape on these. Uh, crap, let's see. There we go. Taped at the bottom. Cool. Now we move a little bit quicker now. Okay, here we go. This is year five in the Order of the Phoenix. Now this one, I really was thinking it had a digital copy in it. Everyone I've said that on, but so far to no avail, there hasn't been digital copy. And this only has the one Blu-ray and then the part five special feature. Now I believe that's because 
when we got to order the Phoenix, Phoenix Blu-rays were, well, here's my digital copy now. I guess that digital copies must have only came with the first editions of them, maybe? Who knows? Uh, when or the Phoenix came out, I guess uh, Blu-rays were in production then, so they just used the Blu-ray that they have from the uh, single disc, I believe. So let's see here. Then we got one more, and then we'll be through. Slide all this back in here. They're very nice sets, you know. Pretty, you know, they're nice for big Harry Potter fans, and even if you're just, you know, an average fan like me, if you want to call me, call them, you know, average fan or whatever you want, you know, you would call it. Last one, let's get this open. Harry Potter and the Half Blood, Blood Prince. I haven't seen this one yet, and I haven't seen either Def the Deathly Hallows either. Yep, there's a digital copy inside this one. So, finally got my digital copies, I guess. And this is again, yep, just a two two disc Blu-ray set. And if I look, disc one has maximum movie mode and some special features, and this two has all these additional, has a lot of additional special features. So. Good that we got two little cards, Draco Malfoy and Dumbledore, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's all the Ultimate Editions that have been released. Don't know if they'll be releasing a, a Deathly Hallows one, but they said they will, so, I mean, if you can trust their word, we should see one. Uh, whatever you got for Christmas, hope... And, you know, it was what you wanted. And if you didn't get what you wanted, I hope uh, what you did get is, you know, just as well. So, thank you guys for uh, watching this holiday haul, you could call it, I guess. Or what I got for Christmas video, you know, however you see fit to call it. And, uh, happy holidays. See you guys later.